In this part two of the video of the integration between Curator and BigFix, we are going to provide some technical details on how this works. None of this is needed uh, to really uh, use this, but in case that you want to troubleshoot or you want to understand better how it works, uh, we're going to provide you some hints in here. So the machine uh, that uh, has to participate into this scheme needs to get the vulnerability information from a network scanner. If you are using QVM, as we did in this video, uh, there's no synology you actually need to do. But if you are using uh, any other third-party scanner, Nessus, Qualys, Rapid7, etc., you need to get uh, the big fix ID number from those machines being scanned. And unfortunately, those scanners do not pick up the, the BES ID. Uh, so what you need to do is actually uh, scan BigFig because BigFig has the information about those devices. And here I define a VA scanner, as you saw in, in the admin, and in my case I'm using port 8080, in yours can be port 80, or if it's uh, encrypted it's SSL, it's 443, uh, you provide the credentials, uh, the, the address of the BigFig machine, you scan it, and that allows the BigFig uh, to complement Curator with the BES, uh, BES ID from those machines. Now Curator knows which machines are, are vulnerable regardless of the scanner being used. Now let's go into one of the attacks uh, that we use. Uh, so this is the uh, script array overflow attack. This was sent again by the XGS IPS that was in the DMZ that detected that from that external machine an attack on this vulnerability was initiated. And uh, what Curator has is actually a lot of intelligence and has a table part of that intelligence uh, that is the QID to vulnerabilities map in which this is the QID that describes this type of event and in that table there is a map to the vulnerabilities that are involved into that particular attack and that's uh, how uh, Curator connects the dots and the offense is, offense is fired uh, so if we go into the offense and we do as we have done very many times uh, uh, display the actual rule uh, and we have this particular rule. This is a default rule in Curator. I modified it a little bit. Uh, basically, I changed this port in, instead of being uh, the same port to any port. And the other thing I did is I, um, I'm, I'm dispatching an event when the offense fired. And that's the other event that we saw there in the logs. But the important piece is that I'm adding into a reference map. Actually, it's a map of set name correlated attack map and adding the destination IP that was on the attack and the actual QID that I showed you before that described the nature of the of the actual attack. And, and why did I add that if I have the offense? Well because I want to make sure that there is a search actually I have a, a safe search uh, here let me actually go into manage vulnerabilities uh, vulnerabilities and I look into uh, a safe search with a type one old, uh, and this uh, search basically is looking for days since exploit attempt greater or equal than zero, and that's the what is going to detect uh, machines that have actually been compromised. How this works? So I'm here in the uh, RESTful API, and I went into reference data, map of set map, and I put here the name of that uh, reference set correlated attack map in which my offense is actually writing when that happens and that as we can see here has the only entry which is the attack that we did and this is the key which is the, the, the attack machine and this is a QID uh, the, of the actual event. Now anything that goes into this uh, particular map of set is gonna come out in the search that I show you uh, uh, before which is this condition here, they since exploit attempt. Okay, so now we, we have a search that triggers when machines have been attacked. The next part of this is actually into uh, risk manager. So I go into policy monitor. I'm going to show you a very simple policy that I added here, which is this one, successful attack machines. And it, it fires on that particular safe search that I just showed you before. So when this policy gets evaluated, actually what we have is a monitor that basically 
and this is a key part when uh, the, the policy fails because we have detected what the policy was looking for we are doubling this is a percentage we are doubling the magnitude of the CVSS and, and, and use it as a risk score. So that, that vulnerability that we exploited, which was 8.1, became 16.2 before it was sent uh, to Big Fix. This policy is run every hour, but also if you save the policy, the, the minute that you save the policy, Risk Manager also runs the policy in around the first uh, five minutes after you have saved it. So you have all these processes running, they have different timers and cron tables and you know, and so the 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 the, 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 uh, the event again. Let's review the 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 log is received with a particular QID that matches to a vulnerable machine. Then the offense fires right into the map of set the uh, the the machine that has, has been compromised uh, with the actual QID. So our our safe search uh, yields result, which are used by this policy, that gets evaluated periodically and when it detects that that machine has been compromised uh, the actual risk score of the vulnerability gets raised. One thing is you need to make sure that that uh, policy is actually enabled and then uh, that uh, risk score is actually increased. Once that policy gets evaluated the risk score I'm sorting them by a uh, risk score is going to go from uh, 8.1 and here we are, the, the higher score that we have is 10 which is normal that's the CVSS number but once that uh, policy gets evaluated the risk score of that attack machine is going to double it's going to be 16.2 and it's going to come up here uh, at the top when I'm uh, sorting them out and here we have it the, the 16.2 so now once this happens file gets gets actually place in this uh, directory which is uh, store QVM adapters data and once that file is actually processed it's actually moved to another directory let me actually uh, it's, it's hard to see when it gets there because it just stays briefly when the minute that it gets there it's actually uh, sent uh, to big fix so this is the directory we're not going to see anything here, but this is the directory where briefly the file gets, once it, it gets moved into this uh, directory, hang, it gets sent uh, to Big Fix. And, and here what I am doing is a tail uh, of the uh, log file, and, and we'll see that once the um, actual, you see the event being processed, those are the JSON file being actually in this particular moment uh, sent uh, uh, onto uh, Big Fix for processing. So we are done on the curator side. Let's go to the big fix side and see what's going on there. So here uh, I'm showing you um, two books mark that I put here. The first one is, uh, as you can see here, the host name, API dashboard variables, curator scan .oyo, and that is the JSON file with all those vulnerabilities being sent uh, from, from curator. Then uh, big fix is going to process this file uh, the QRL plugin is going to parse it and process and then it's going to generate what is going to be shown on the Big Fix console and that is put into this file called QID, uh, Q, QUI, uh, .oil. and here we see it uh, and once we refresh the, the console we'll see the, uh, the, the risk score that has just been sent double uh, into the Big Fix console for operation that's all it is, pretty simple